The baby elephant in this video was spotted at a place bordering the village, isolated and still, with an abscess on the right side of his face, just above the eye area, oozing pus from it. It was already infected and would have been quite painful too. The villagers noticed this helpless animal and informed the wildlife office in the area. The officers arrived shortly and started the treatment process. The first step was to trap the baby elephant and to sedate him. This is important as even though he's a baby elephant, he's a loner who's away from his herd. And such ones could be violent, especially when injured and humans approach them. On the other hand, injured animals, especially wild ones, surely do not cooperate voluntarily with the manipulations needed for the treatment, if otherwise. Once the trapping was done carefully, the officer sedated him with a sedative agent they prepared on the spot. This was also a job done very carefully. Within a few minutes, the animal showed signs of being tranquilized. Then the officers tied him on the leg to a nearby tree. Sedation is a state where the animal is not entirely unconscious, but its awareness of the surroundings is severely altered. Therefore, they had to tie him up too to prevent any possible movement during treatment. The treatment began with a thorough cleaning of the abscess. Incising and draining the abscess is the standard method they used for this. When the pus was drained out completely, they closed the hole that was left by the abscess using sterile saline and cotton. In the meantime, the veterinarians noticed that the baby elephant was quite weak and that he required a boost of energy. So they started administering saline using an IV line. Simultaneously, they injected antibiotics, multivitamins, painkillers, and all other required medicines intramuscularly. The entire treatment process was done while the animal was standing in sedation. Once the wound was thoroughly cleaned, they packed it with povidone iodine, an antiseptic drug that kills harmful infection-causing microorganisms organisms and thereby cures wounds faster. Once all these treatments were done, the vets decided to revive the animal immediately and translocate him to a rehabilitation center. The team made this decision as it would be dangerous to leave this injured baby elephant alone in the forest. The animal was still looking very dehydrated in appearance, so the officers poured water on the baby elephant's body to refresh him and cool him off. The concerned villagers gathered around him with easily edible food such as hay, pumpkin, and bananas. Thank you, dear villagers, for all your support.
Veterinarians believe that this terrible wound would have been caused by a sharp object in the forest. Some of the officers cleared that roadway and the surroundings to bring in an excavator to transport the baby elephant. They also worked diligently to ensure that the elephant was led to the excavator in a calm and comfortable manner, so as to not panic the animal or damage him while being loaded or transported. The plan is to look after this cute baby elephant at the rehabilitation center until he fully recovers well and grows to be a healthy bull elephant. He will be well fed and treated affectionately until then. Once he's ready to be on his own, they will release him back to the wild. Let's hope he will recover soon, be well looked after at the rehab and grow up to be a majestic elephant. Hey, Hello, hello, hello. Maybe I'll try